Ladies and gentlemen, bibliophiles and thrill-seekers of intellectual escapades, welcome to an odyssey through the remarkable terrains of risk, probability, and their enigmatic dance with human destiny, as depicted by Peter Bernstein in his seminal work, Against the Gods, The Remarkable Story of Risk. Today, I shall endeavor to present to you not just insights, but also 10 nuggets of wisdom, beautifully dredged from the depths of this riveting book. Brace yourselves as we unravel the tapestries of chance, the calculus of the future, and the human audacity to peer into the crystal ball of uncertainty and sometimes smirk in the face of destiny. Each insight, dear audience, is a stitch in the fabric of our collective genius, our endless curiosity, and our indomitable spirit to sort the wheat from the chaff of random happenings. One, the birth of probability. We kickstart our journey in the lap of the Renaissance, where amidst the whiffs of burgeoning intellect and culture, the idea of quantifying risk began to take shape. Like the emergence of a colossus, the idea that one could not just gamble on the roll of dice, but predict outcomes and hedge against misfortunes was downright revolutionary. It was here that we first learned to play against the gods, defying fate with disciplined reckoning and the majestic prowess of the first probability theorists, Fermat and Pascal. The profound takeaway here, humans, when pushed by curiosity, can indeed steal fire from Olympus. Two, the evolution of risk. Fast forward to the Enlightenment and enter the brave thinkers who would not bow to the whims of chance. Bernstein introduces us to the heroes and architects of risk management, the likes of John Grant, who waded through the morass of London's bills of mortality to birth demographics, to Bernstein's philosophical musings on the likes of Daniel Bernoulli, who showed us that utility, how we value outcomes, gyrates with the swing of fortune. The lesson learned? Knowledge is verily a line chart across centuries. It ebarks on one axis and rockets on another as humanity progresses. Three, the marbles of normal distribution. As we advanced, the bell curve became our north star, allowing us to navigate the treacherous waters of normal distribution. Carl Friedrich Gauss and Francis Galton, Bernstein's intellectual protagonists, reveal that nature's code of variation is not an anarchic stream of confusion, but a sedate bell tolling with predictable variance. From the prowess of Galton's peas, we learn that neither men nor legumes are free from nature's decree to conform to mathematical ritual. The incisive insight here? The galaxy of chaos actually harbors islands of order, waiting to be discovered. Four, the art of speculation against the gods then invites us to the stage where capital pirouettes with chance. The stock markets, temples of speculation, altars of future earnings. This is where Bachelier and later the famous Samuelson prayed and preached that price movement was a form of Brownian motion, fluid, random, unpredictable. Yet within this entropy, Bernstein finds a curious harmony, the random walk down Wall Street revealing that informed speculation isn't blindfolded dart throwing. Rather, it's like being the sage in a hurricane. Five. Managing the unmanageable, Bernstein doesn't shy away from the ignoble art of insurance, the bet on a bet, the hedge on the hedge. Here, we are gracefully introduced to the principle of the law of large numbers. Speculators, actuaries, economists, and businessmen alike gather under this portico to mitigate risk. The key tenet here is diversification, the wise counsel that we should never, ever put all those precious eggs in one unpredictable basket. Insight number five, Hedging is the soul's way of saying, I may not outsmart you, O fate, but I sure can outlast you. Six, the age of the quants. The thermometer of complexity began to rise, and the financial markets got hotter with quants stepping into the fray, wielding the Black Skull's Merton model, a formula to measure the temperature of an option's risk. Simplicity masquerading as a complex derivative. Bernstein connects dots across the academic finance complex, concluding that true genius lies in making the infinite malleability of numbers serve the crushing finitude of human aspirations. The advice here is eternally relevant. In quant we trust, until of course the model rusts. Seven, the hubris in disguise. With the cheekiest glint in his eye, Bernstein takes us through the tragic comedy of long-term capital management, a hedge fund that felt like it could outwit probability itself. The irony is thick enough to cut with a knife here. The high priests of risk management became victims of their own sermon, exposing the fatal flaw, overconfidence. 
If there's a lesson history loves to repeat, it's this. When the gods of chance whisper sweet certainties in your ear, plug it with the wax of skepticism. 8. The Fallacy of the Gambler Bernstein's pen then waltzes with the gambler's fallacy, the erroneous belief that a string of losses is soon to be followed by a win because luck is due. The roulette wheel and the toss of a coin care little for personal histrionics. They follow not the siren of cosmic fairness, but the dry law of independent probabilities. Insight 8 is a somber meditation. Your luck owes you nothing, for it's merely the echo of probability, neither malicious nor benign. 9. The power of behavioral economics. Just when you think you've mastered the numbers and the models, Bernstein unfurls the flag of behavioral economics, where he paints the human mind as a treasure trove fraught with cognitive biases and irrational appetites. It's not just about conquering data. It's about wrestling the beast within the one that prefers stories over statistics and patterns over prudence. Our penultimate truth is this. Before you wager against the gods, make sure you're not unknowingly gambling against your own flawed psychology. 10. Prince of the Random Walk Lastly, Bernstein bequeaths us with the legacy of stochastic processes and Monte Carlo simulations, tools for those who dine with randomness and toast to uncertainty. From the forsaken gambling dens of Monte Carlo to the polished boardrooms of Wall Street, we observe that to simulate is to anticipate that a billion random steps can lead to a palace of foresight. The final golden insight, embrace the random walk, for in its uncertainty, we find the paradoxical path to clarity. Engage these insights as you journey through against the gods. And remember, the odyssey of human intellect is but a game of chance in which our spirit, ingenuity, and courage are the dice. And with these dice, we continue to roll, to bet, to calculate, sometimes against all gods and odds, charting a course through the living history of risk. Thank you.